Okay, in this little segment, we're going to talk about how to test to make sure that the, the link encoder is actually sending captions out to the TV. Okay, and the way you do that is by pressing this test button uh, once you have everything hooked up. So if I press test, you'll notice that on the TV, you'll actually get this message coming directly from the uh, link encoder. So that means that's good. That means that it's, there's making a connection and that you have it hooked up correctly. Now, let's say you have it hooked up. In this case, I have it hooked up to the encoder outputs on the back of the link encoder. So let's say I switch it to the decoder. That means I'm going to decode the captions in the link encoder out to the TV. So let's hit this test again. And notice that they're double. There's at literally one behind the other. That's because the link encoder sending captions and the TV is also decoding the captions. So you have to make sure that you have one or the other, otherwise you'll get doubling like that. So in this case, let's say if I go into my TV menu, and I go into menu, and I go to closed caption, and uh, I basically select under captioning, I, I go to you know, to mod caption and just hit off, right? Then the de then the link encoder's decoder is going to work and the TV is going to be disabled. So watch what happens now. Notice that it doesn't double up anymore. So that means this in this case the 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 decoding of the captions is happening in the link encoder and not on the TV. So now let's switch it back to encoder. Notice nothing happens. So those two buttons on the back of the, uh, the link encoder are really important. If I want something to happen now, I switch it to video adjust, closed caption, caption. I'm going to press test one more time. And now you have it. There you go. So it's really vital to know which one of these are going to have to have to set. Okay? Encoder is the standard caption. Decoder is if you want the link encoder to actually do the decoding. So make sure you select the right one before you do your project.